Let's make the Bora Bora braids together. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be making the Bora Bora braid. I know a lot of us mistake Bora braid for Boho braid. I'm going to explain the difference between both braid as we go further. However, just take a moment, pay attention to the coil pattern on this braid. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's demure, it's intentional. <laughs> So the Hot Braids company sent me three bundles of Bohemia coils in 22 inches and the first impression about this buck, immediately I took it out of the bag, what I noticed was that the buck is full from the top to the bottom which I really like so much. Just pay attention to that. So it also came with this beautiful goodie box. So in this box, you have everything you need to braid your hair. You have the comb, you have the edge control, you have the clips. And then with these beautiful bags as well. So when you unravel one of the box, it has two 50-50 gram on it, which the two makes 100 gram. So when I want to work with box, I like to put gel at the tip just to make life easy for me. So you can see how I easily pick the size that I actually need. You see how easy it is and it won't unravel. And this rack, attachment rack, make life so, so easy. I'll be leaving the link on the description so you can purchase it on my Amazon storefront. And also I'll be using some synthetic extension as well. My back hair is quite short, but we're going to work with it anyways. Um, it was a little bit difficult for me to actually grip that back yes it was a little bit difficult but the reason why I'm actually feeling the back is for me to explain something to you guys better I think I'll be able to do it from behind more better so at the back when you start your weaving your knotless definitely we're making a knotless braid right um, I like to braid my natural hair like two three four times before adding the straight extension to it before i then add the human hair coily extension to it if you guys understand what i'm saying so i first add the synthetic extension and when i'm adding the synthetic extension i use three extension which i've just added two and then i'll add one more to make it three yeah that makes it three I always prefer to use three though because I just think if I use three it will be even except you want to use six so I like to work with even numbers yes yeah. so I try to touch around just to be sure that I'm not holding the areas I'm not supposed to or I'm not picking air from different sessions so while I said I want to film this back is this coily extension I've just added once I add the coily extension at the back, while my both hands are at the back, I won't be able to braid it downward. That's how it works for me. I cannot braid downward. If you've been able to braid that way, please leave a comment in the comment section below. But if you want your knotless braid to be this beautiful, this full, and this fine, follow my tips. Seriously, you're going to thank me that you actually follow these tips. So I normally put like six or five on each braid, which I'm going to be working with but i like to work in sessions working in session if you're making diy if you're braiding your hair yourself you're doing anything yourself if, with your hair seriously you have to work in sessions working in session will make life a lot easier for you so that's exactly what i'm doing right now I like to start my knotless braid by braiding my natural hair maybe two three four times before adding the synthetic extension to the hair before the human hair so I'm going to add three of the 
attachment onto my hair that is number one and then three so after adding the third one what I would like to do to make sure that the coils are very tight to the braid is to move that hand you could see the hand that I put behind the left hand I have to move it to the front because if I don't move that hand to the front I won't be able to braid it properly I won't be able to braid it tight it will not be tight the coils might just be falling out of it so if you want to make your hair yourself and you need to add cords to your braid you want to braid your hair not less braid boss braid and you need to add cords you have to move that left hand to the front just to make sure you the coils are there the coily extensions are sec properly secured onto the braid if i explain that correctly so a lot of you have been talking about how do you knot your the ends of your braid so good just pay attention to the way i'm knotting it if you miss this one you can watch the next braid i'm going to make because i always um knot the ends of all the braids yes once you knot it this way seriously you don't need gum you don't need glue to you don't need glue on your braid seriously so i like to when i braid i trim at the same time i always want my braids to be very neat that's the reason why i do that i braid and then i trim at the same time as well So what I have at the back is half of the bundle, which is 50 gram. And then this is the second one. I'm using shaman gel to put on the tips. That's the gel I normally use. And then when you comb the ends of this, you will notice that this is a very good hair. No hair is falling out. It's a very, very good hair. The hair, just like I said from the beginning, is full from the top to the bottom, which I love so much. And unlike a lot of buck hair that I've seen that is falling anyhow this doesn't even fall at all not not one bit so this is really is a very very good human hair so what i try to do is to um caption different session and um, caption it in different angles so that you guys can actually relate to it and maybe see what i'm doing properly if that makes sense but if you pay attention to my explanation i believe you're going to understand all i'm all i'm doing because i'm going to explain as as i plot through as i break through i'm going to be explaining to you guys just to make sure i carry you guys along and don't don't leave you guys behind yes so just like I said, I will always move my hand to the front to start adding the coils to the to the braid. I see a lot of people talking about why would you use your leaf to hold your extension? Seriously, that means you're not ready to do a DIY. If you want to braid your hair yourself and you require adding a coily extension, or adding any form of extension onto your braid and you're doing it yourself you would definitely need your lips if you've done a complete braid like this without use, using your lips please leave a comment in the comment section below because on my previous video that i posted i was um, actually talking about how to add coils to boho braids and a lot of people are saying no i can't put it in my lips it's your lip not your mouth you're just using your lips to hold the extension that's the only way the extension can be firm on the braid seriously try it if you've done if you've added extension to your braids before and it's firm and you did not use your lips to hold it please leave a comment in the comment section below i want to know how you do that because some people do use clip but when you use clip the struggle is real you will keep going back and forth clip is falling down the weight of the clip is pulling the braids down you don't want to go through those drama 
So the best way, the best, best way to do your DIY in peace is to use your lips to all the extension you are attaching to it. But this look beautiful. Just pay attention to how this coil is really looking from the bottom. So what I've used here is 100 gram. Yeah, I've used 100 gram and I was tired already. I need to go to bed. I was just wrapping the hair so I can go to bed. It was about, is it to 10 or so? A few minutes, a few minutes past 10. And I was really, really tired. I had to just go. And this is the next morning, feeling sleepy, feeling tired. But you know what? We must complete the hair. <laughs> That's the tax. So to know that this hair is a very good hair, the way I even wrap it and go to bed, look at how shiny, how the coil is still popping. The hair is really a good hair. So if you are looking for a very good human hair to make your Bora Bora braid, to make your Boho braid, seriously, this hot, um, hot braid company has really got you. The extension is really, really good. I'm not joking. It's very, very good. And if you're purchasing from them and you're using my discount code, which I'll be linking, I'll be, um, I'll be linking it on the description session. Use my discount code. You'll be getting some discount from whatever bundles you order from them. So, like I said, you will always need your lip. That's what I just did again. Put the extension in my lip. So, when you put it, one thing you can do, once you put it in your lip immediately, braid one or two or three, and then you can throw the coily extension backward while you braid downward. You will see me doing that on other clips. So, once I put the extension in my lip, and I braid down a bit, I just throw it backward because by then I already know that it's properly secured. So I throw it backward once I once I'm sure, just like what I just did now. So once I'm sure that the coily extension is properly secured onto the braid, I just take it off my lips and then throw it backward. So for those of you asking how I knot the end of my braid that is so neat and firm, this is how I do it. Pay attention to all my braiding tutorial. I always knot my braids this way. Most especially when I'm adding coils to the braid, I knot it this way and it's beautiful. What I like to do next is to trim. When I braid, I trim. It makes the work very, very neat. Very, very neat. Yeah, you can see how nice it looks. And at this time, I've used 100 gram and that hair is really full that's 100 gram and this is the next bundle i picked which is the second bundle to make it 200 gram and before you know it i was already starving yes i needed to eat something i had to pause grab a popcorn and then just make sure my mouth is moving just make sure the mouth is moving And when I was done, this is already 200 gram, 200 gram gone. And the next clip, I've already used 50 gram more, which is 250. And the last bundle that I had on is the one I'm going to use to complete this, to make it 300 gram. I actually use all the extension. I use all the 300 gram extension. And the good thing is that the hair doesn't feel heavy, but the hair is very, very full. It does not feel heavy. It feels light, but it's full. The volume, you could see that the volume is really full. So let's talk about the difference between the Bora Bora braid and the Boho braid. So the only difference between Bora Bora braid and Boho braid is the volume. Bora Bora braid, the volume is more bigger than Boho braid. So Boho braid has less volume, while Bora Bora braid has a more volume on the braid which means the coils is more the coils is more than the boho braid so that is the only difference about the two braids no much difference though so guys if you've watched this extent it means you actually like this video if you do like the video please don't hesitate to give the video a thumbs up 
and also don't forget to drop a comment before leaving and if you've not subscribed to the channel and you're seeing this pretty face for the very first time please support me by hitting on the subscribe button press on your notification bell for you to be notified whenever i upload a new video also i'll be dropping the details of the hair extension that i used on this video on the description section don't hesitate to check it and also i'll be leaving my discount code on the description section as well please use it when ordering from them to and get some discount and this and i was almost done with the hair but i was so tired and then i decided to stand up and style the hair to see how it look it look really really beautiful it look gorgeous the good thing is that the hair is very soft you can run your hand through it the volume is big but it's not heavy which i love so so much so by the time i was done playing with the hair you know i have to go back and sit down to make sure i finish the work that i started so this hair actually took me two days for me to complete it it's the most like the longest hair i've ever done since i've started being a braider seriously but this came out very very beautiful it was all the pain all the stress it looks good gorgeous you can run your hand through it beautiful i really love it thank you so much guys for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys on my next one bye bye